Welcome to this episode of Nursing Edge Unscripted, Saga, where we journey through the history of nursing education using stories that connect the past to the present and then our future as we reimagine our teaching and learning. May is the birth month of Florence Nightingale, born May 12, 1820 known as the Lady with the Lamp for her night rounding in the care of wounded soldiers during the Crimean War, she is the icon for professional nursing, forging the pathway for modern nursing. Florence was very well educated. Her father saw to it that Florence and her sister were able to participate in what was then identified as advanced women's education. This meant that Florence studied history, mathematics, classical literature and philosophy, as well as foreign language. She was always described as being very intelligent with an extraordinary ability in data analysis. She appreciated the value of collecting specific information and then studying it, identifying patterns and drawing conclusions. She believed she was called to a greater role in service to others. This calling came to fruition with the help of a politician, Sidney Herbert, who was the Secretary of War in Great Britain during the Crimean War. He asked Florence to travel to Crimea and provide nursing care to British wounded soldiers. Florence trained and educated a core group of women volunteer nurses with the task to improve the horrendous conditions experienced by injured soldiers. Medicine was in short supply and hygiene was neglected, resulting in high infection rates. She instituted hand washing as a start to improving hygiene practices and was credited in reducing the death rate from 42% to 2%. Nightingale also recognized that other illnesses such as typhus, typhoid, cholera, and dysentery killed more soldiers than battle wounds. Florence believed that nutrition, ventilation, and overworking contributed to error and poor health. Sanitary living conditions was part of her life's work and she was influential in the sanitary design of hospitals and the introduction of sanitation in working class homes. Florence was the voice for today's contemporary nursing profession as envisioned in 1859 when her Notes on Nursing were first published. This publication became the cornerstone of modern day nursing, outlining a curriculum to guide nursing education. She was quoted as clearly outlining that nursing knowledge was distinctly different than medical knowledge. She believed it was this difference that distinguished nursing as a profession. From the time of her nursing notes publication moving forward, she spent the rest of her life promoting and organizing the profession of nursing. It is said that Florence Nightingale died peacefully in her sleep on August 13, 1910 in London. The International Committee of the Red Cross instituted the Florence Nightingale Medal in 1912, and it has continued to be awarded every two years to nurses or nurses' aides as the highest international honor a nurse can achieve. Since 1965, International Nurses' Day is celebrated yearly on Florence's birthday, May 12th. The World Health Organization declared 2020 the International Year of the Nurse and the Midwife to honor the 200th anniversary of Florence Nightingale's birth and to advance nurses' vital role in transforming healthcare around the world. Reflecting on her extraordinary life of service, there are so many connections to her work and the nursing profession today. As she forged a pathway to modern nursing, her love and passion for disease prevention and health promotion continued to set nursing apart as a science and discipline. Advances like M Health, Mobile Health, and consumer driven care are accelerating. There are reportedly close to 100,000 mobile health apps 
that consumers can download on their smartphones and tablets to inform and guide them toward wellness. Nurses are and will be central to gathering and interpreting that information as a means of health promotion. Florence Nightingale exhibited many gifts, her love for writing, her concern with spreading medical knowledge and her passion to use evidence to guide practice resonates today. Nurses are challenged to continue to disseminate research findings to evolve the science of nursing and the discipline as a whole. In 1863, Florence wrote in Notes on Hospitals, quote, it may seem a strange principle to enunciate as the very first requirement in a hospital that it should do the sick no harm, unquote. These words are relevant today. The 2010 Institute of Medicine's report to Air is Human, Building a Safer Health System, stated that it is simply not acceptable for patients to be harmed by the same healthcare system that is supposed to offer healing and comfort. Florence Nightingale, intellect, informatics analyst, educator, and modern day caregiver. Our Lady with the Lamp, who educated and practiced both the science and art of nursing continues to light our way forward as we continue to study and advance the science of the discipline of nursing. And so the saga continues today and may our saga continue as we bring to a close this episode of Nursing Edge Unscripted, Saga. Thank you for joining us. And remember, good teaching doesn't just happen. Find your fit, push the boundaries, and celebrate the ahas. <laughs>